Hey you guys, what's up? So today I'll be doing a first impression with Wet n Wild's cover all. So I got the cream foundation and the pressed powder. So um, the powder is just $2.93 while the foundation is $3.54. So I what caught my attention for these two is that it says coverall so I'm like I was thinking that it's really um, pigmented covering some discoloration and all that thing the good stuff so anyways the packaging looks like this so you'll be getting 29.6 ml for this tube and um, yeah, I got the shade of medium. I usually pick the wrong color. I often tend to like get the light color, but I'm hoping and praying that this one is actually, hold on, is actually my shade. So let me just read the information at the back. So it says, all day wear, medium to full coverage, lightweight, satin matte finish, Visi Bright Complex reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenate skin. So there, let's give that a try. Oh, before I move on, let me just read some of the details here at the back for the pressed powder. I don't know if this is just what kind of, I don't know what it does. Does it set or I, I have no idea. So it says here, all day wear radiant weightless finish. It pretty much says the same, sorry about that, pretty much says the same thing, however, it doesn't have it doesn't say anything about coverage so I'm pretty sure this is just something for setting it out so let's try it I have a beauty blender here that's already damp but I'm going to use my fingers first because it often tends to oh why did someone test this out before I got this I have no idea I should have picked something that's sealed, but you know, looking all of the products there, though mostly of them are not sealed, so I don't. I opened it and all of the uh, product is everywhere. The consistency is kind of thick. It doesn't have any smell. Good that. I'm gonna put like half of my face first so that you guys could see. I think this is kind of like a little light for me. Though I usually get the medium, but I think this is okay. It dries quickly. Like you have to, I think this is best if you use a damp blender, but I want to use my fingers for now. So the coverage looks like that. It's not actually bad, but I can't say that it's a full coverage. I think this is more like of a light to medium. Does it say it's buildable? No. Okay. It is actually really, really thick. All right, I give up. I'm gonna use my beauty blender to even it out. So it looks like that up close. Okay, there is kind of like, what? What is this? I want to know what is this. All right. Oh, it's the seal. Oh my goodness! Someone really tried it out already at the at Walmart. Ah, I hate this. 
next time I'm gonna like make sure everything that I buy is sealed I will never buy anything that's not sealed anymore I find it like really disgusting I feel like it's not fresh what if that person tested this product like with dirty hands I don't know or if that person has like is sick or something it's terrible Walmart please check your products I mean seriously everybody's just I'm trying to buy this Rimmel contouring kit and I want to get one but everything is tested out this is insane I think they're really just trying to wait for someone to buy that which is terrible you just have to like remove all of those already feel bad about you know makeup right now is kind of getting more expensive even if it's just drugstores I don't know if it's just me but that's how I noticed okay all right it's not a full coverage as you can see oh my gosh all right it's not a full coverage it's kind of like a medium coverage but what I like about it is that it really sets quickly and I think you don't even need a powder for this one it is really really nice all right moving on with the powder so you'll be getting 7.5 grams for this one and it comes along with this sponge I don't know this is really not useful come on let's be honest this is just kind of like if this is food this is probably like a free taste anyways I'd really appreciate it if there is a mirror so that I can use it for retouching whenever I'm out so I'm just gonna go ahead since I mentioned earlier that I don't this foundation doesn't seem to have to need like a powder but since I know my face pretty well it tends to get seriously oily and crazy I'm gonna pat that all over my face I'll be checking with you guys later on how well these two performed for today. Give you an update. Everything that I got is kind of like really light for me, but I'll try to work it out. Put a generous amount on my neck so that I. I won't look like a doesn't have any smell doesn't smell pretty doesn't smell ugly nothing just nothing so I like how it really it doesn't feel like it's powdery it's just smooth so just be careful when you're using this because it tends to like oh yeah I like it it's really smooth but it kind of gets in my fingers when you rub it so I think it did not absorb the powder at all because the foundation itself kind of made a powdery finish but anyways I'll just finish my makeup and then go back to you guys and give you an update after three or two hours or it depends if I see some changes on my face okay hey guys so it's just been an hour and I can see some creases already on my under eye so that's just really sad but the rest of my face it's still intact I'm kind of getting really oily my oil is already breaking the powder and the cream and it's just been an hour or so I'm really not expecting more about this product but let's give it a few more hours it has been three hours and my face is starting to get oily most especially on the sides of my nose so some I'm having some patches already so the foundation around this area is almost gone but it's still visible in my cheeks the cheeks the foundation on my cheeks are still intact but here on the forehead, 
I'm already oily. I haven't retouched anything so that I can see the full potential of this foundation and cream foundation and powder. So I'll check for another couple of hours. Hey you guys, so it's nighttime already. So um as you can see it's already game over obviously my face is so oily i can see it in the mirror i'm shining like plastic most especially in this area and in my forehead and earlier i showed you guys that it was just an hour and i started creasing and then it only this foundation didn't even last me for like five hours so um, take note that I didn't use any primer at all or any setting spray but that's just because I want to see the full potential of these products that's why I want them to work independently but I didn't really expect that it's not gonna last within five hours because I already uh, put a uh, powder above it usually a uh, really nice foundation would at least last four or five hours with a powder on top of it however for this one this is something that i will not buy again just because it's not long lasting and it's not even humid here so my face is oily yes but the foundation won't even run that like easily on my face most especially if it's not hot but this time this really doesn't work for me probably if you are just starting to play with makeup if you are a student on the budget this is probably the right product for you to start but if you are uh, working throughout the day and you have to look really nice you are dealing with a lot of people this is not the type of product that i would really recommend for you guys to use so yeah that's basically it what i just like about it is that it sets really quickly but as quickly as it sets on your face it quickly goes away as well so that is pretty much it and i hope you guys find this video helpful to you guys if you are interested with this product i'll see you guys tomorrow bye